Hi, welcome to Crochet Jewel channel. I'm going to share with you how to crochet a water bottle cozy. I used an e-hook and medium worsted yarn. If you need help with any beginner stitches, I have a playlist down below in the description and also the pattern. If this is too fast, you can place the video in slow motion. There is a video down below on how to do that. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm using Red Heart Soft 5 ounce yarn and it's 256 yards. Start, you're going to chain four, slip knot onto your hook. Work two double crochet in the beginning chain. So insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over both or two loops, yarn over both or two loops. Work another double crochet in that chain. And then chain three. And then three double crochet in that same chain space. Chain three and three double crochet. And then chain three. And three double crochet. And then chain three. And then slip stitch into the chain three. Slip stitch into the chain three space. So grab the yarn, pull through, and then go to the next and chain slip stitch into that chain space. And then chain three. And then two double crochet. And then chain three, and then work three double crochet. And then chain one, and then three double crochet. And then chain three. And then three double crochet. And then chain one. And then the same, just repeat three double crochet. Chain three, three double crochet. 
chain one and then repeat right here and so once you do the three double crochet chain three three double crochet you have a chain one and then you're going to slip stitch into the chain three it's going to look like this slip stitch into the next chain space And then chain three, two double crochet. Chain three, three double crochet. chain one, three double crochet, then chain one, and then repeat here is the same three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, and then a chain one. Chain three, three double crochet. Chain one. And then you'll repeat three double crochet. And then chain one. And then three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. And then do the corners, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, three double crochet after your chain ones. And then you'll end here. So go all the way around. Okay, and now you're going to end with a chain one slip stitch. It's going to look like this. Slip stitch into that chain three, slip stitch into the space here, the chain three. Then you're going to chain three and then work two double crochet. And then chain three. And then work three double crochet. And then chain one. And you're going to work three double crochet together in the next space. Yarn over, pull through two loops, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over, insert your hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, You'll have these loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all of the loops, chain one, do the same thing here, three double crochet together. And then chain one, and then the corner is three double crochet, And then chain three, and then three double crochet. Chain one, and then three double crochet together here. And 
and then chain one and then repeat. Three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, three together, three double crochet together, and just repeat until you get back to the beginning. Now you're going to slip stitch into here and slip stitch into the chain three. And you're just going to repeat, which is a chain three, two double crochet. chain three, three double crochet, chain one, and then three double crochet together. And then chain one and right here you're going to skip this chain one space and you're going to three double crochet here and then chain one three double crochet and a chain three And then your chain three, three double crochet. Chain one, three double crochet here together. And then chain one, and then you're going to skip this again, and this is just all repeat, three double crochet together. You're going to repeat this around, continue on. Do your chain one, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, three double crochet together, skip, three double crochet together, and then just repeat until you get to the beginning. So I did it up to about 15 rounds or for as tall as you would need it. And this is just for a regular Pure Life water bottle. And then to end, you're going to slip stitch into it. And I'm just going to do a single crochet around. I'll do two in the chain space and then one single crochet in the, each of the double crochet and then one in the space here and one here and then one in the space and then into each a double crochet and then two Then work that all the way till you get back to the beginning. Okay, so once you do the single crochet trim, I'm going to go into the chain space here with a slip stitch. And now I'm going to make a strap. I made the chain count for 200, but you may need it longer. And we're gonna work this to the other side. So just keep making your chains. We'll make it to the other side and then we'll go back around through a single crochet to finish. You want it to be equal across. So I did, and you want to make sure your, your chain is straight. I did 200 and that was good for me for the crossing over. You want to make sure it's not twisted. Go right across here, fold it. And then slip stitch it. And because we're slip stitching it, we're going to work back up with single crochet. 
in each chain. So insert your hook, grab your arm, pull through, and you might need more than 200. Wrap it around your shoulder, put your bottle in, and see if that works for you. So work that all the way back up to this side here. So you're at the end here after you do your single crochet and now you're going to slip stitch, pull through, and you can weave in your ends with your yarn needle. And you just go inside and weave in all your ends with your yarn needle. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and the pattern is down below. Please subscribe if you haven't already and thank you for watching.